Clouds. Locked. What's going on Spartans? King here and today we are doing another farming to max. We're going to upgrade two resource collectors, show you some of my raids, show you a few of my buddies raids from the clan and show you my awesome Christmas trees which of course I have two of and look at this one it has a present in front of it and I also have that of course that Halloween headstone over there and then on this side I have, let's get rid of this trunk, but I have a Christmas tree, the new one and then I have last year's Christmas tree and it spawned a gem box. I only wish I had the third year back Christmas tree, the first one, the original one, that I accidentally did get rid of when I first started playing, because I heard it was giving out free troops. I'm kidding, guys. It did not spawn a gem box, and you don't get anything special for the old Christmas tree either. But let's move on and show you some awesome raids. We'll get right into it here. Let's first off upgrade these mines to level 12, and there they are, guys. Two more mines. That'll be all my mines to level 12, and I have like two more elixir pumps to do. So I do have this mine and this elixir collector that is completely maxed out, and they look sexy as can be. Who else agrees? I'm super pumped about this. Definitely loving the way they look, and I'm definitely loving... Oh, wait, I'm missing another... Oh, man, there's another... Oh, there's way more to upgrade, guys. I completely missed an extra mine and collector when I was talking about how many I have to do. Anyway, though, let's get into it, and as you can see, an easy attack here. And we're going to start by wall breaking in. Slowly dropping one wall breaker at a time and destroying these gold walls. As you know, one max level wall breaker can destroy a pink wall with one hit and it can almost destroy a purple wall with one hit. It literally leaves basically enough force for a barbarian or goblin to hit it twice and then it goes right through the wall. Just so you know that for a little tactics, but some people like to use two to go through the walls. That is all preference to you guys. Now I'm just spawning my goblins down, taking out the easy mines, and I'm going to get all this loot. And once I do, we will be good to go. I might have some fun with this episode and not just do farming. Might push with this uh, just because it's too easy. As you can see, ton of troops left and they're all dying. Let's drop all the lightning spells down. Uh, just drop two, drop the third one. And we're being real careful. We're going to drop one more to take out this mortar and wizard right there. Boom, there they go. And I bet one lightning spell. Let's see. I bet I can destroy this mortar. Yep, one lightning spell took it out, guys. That was awesome. And, uh, yeah, we got your heroes left. 63 percent is gone on the base. Let's drop our clan castle. Let's drop our few archers we had less. Uh, left, less. A few archers we had less. No, left. <laughs> oh, my God. Cannot talk at all. Hope you guys don't mind. This commentary is going to suck. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we got to see how much they can get. Can we get a three-star? Can we get a two-star? What's going to happen? King's going down decently fast. Queen's been injured but is not in trouble yet. Got plenty of archers with her. And I have some high hopes for her. I'm thinking she's going to be the one that gets that town hall for sure. And here comes the king in rage. Let's get those barbarians out helping him. And this wizard tower is targeting them, doing some damage along with that mortar. But the queen has cleaned it up. Unfortunately, she is busy shooting a wall, which is, of course, the most useful thing she could do. And now she's moved in for the kill. And the queen is taking out the wizard tower. And now the king and queen are teaming up to take out that town hall. Looks like an easy two-star, no problem. And let's see how far these guys can really go. We'll let them fight to the death. And as they go down, hopefully they get that third star. We shall see, though. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm going to get the third star in this one? Vote below before you watch the whole video. You only have a few seconds, so vote fast. Now, the king goes down. Queen goes in viz right the last second before she dies. Heals up a little bit and starts one shot in these defenses. Really doing some heavy damage and taking them all out. Now, there's no defenses left with five seconds left. She's going to take out that last building which of course is the clan castle no problems there guys 100 percent 160,000 gold one 136,000 elixir and 32 trophies and all i spent was five lightning spells and of course goblins and archers so really easy three star definitely worth the trophies now while i've been farming i've been finding a lot of easy easy collector bases guys and definitely going for it just dropping those goblins down dropping those wall breakers to get in there and once they're through those walls, we're taking everything they have and more. Now, if you guys want to continue to see more of this series, definitely stay tuned for it. I will start to do more of it, but I'm going to start pushing again, guys. And I'm going to start doing other episodes in between. And I do these a little less frequently because they do take a lot of time to make. Because i got to do a lot of raids. And I also am kind of sick of farming, to be honest. I'm going to pause it right here, though. And we are going to do the rest of this attack just for fun. Now, we stole all the loot. Now, the reason I do do attacks like this where I drop my troops is 
I'm actually not really trying to win. I'm trying to learn what my troop strengths are. So as you can see, dropping the goblins in, I'm seeing how strong those mortars are and choosing at different speeds and different directions to drop the goblins to see where they go on the base. This allows me to tell what walls do against your goblins to see how strong those new archer towers are against your goblins, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, point being, it's just a learning experience. Got 247,000 gold, 220,000 elixir, 468 dark, and a negative 25 trophies. Let's get right to the next raid. And let me know how the volume sounds. How's the background music? Is it the right volume? Is it too loud, too soft? Let me know because I definitely need to alter that for future videos. And we found a base that is a vault base. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And it is going to be a simple base to attack. You can see I actually misdropped that lightning spell, though, and it went almost completely onto the Archer Tower. But I do recover here, manage to kill the mortar, and do a lot of damage to that cannon and that Archer Tower, so that's good news. Now, we're going to start dropping our troops around the edges. Sorry, completely terrible, terrible zooming there. Uh, just dropping the troops around the edges here, cleaning up the outside buildings. And once I put down most of my archers, I will start dropping down those goblins. We're saving a lot of our goblins just because we want to be able to burrow into the base. And it's definitely going to take a lot of them to get past those wizard towers and to get past, of course, the mortars and the inferno tower. That's on multi-target. You're going to need a large swarm coming at multiple waves. So saving that 129 goblins I have left, I just dropped a couple of them there. Wall breaking in, and now we are almost into that center. Can we get in there? It's going to be close. All right, we are into the center. Now the goblins are going in. Let's enrage the king as a meat shield, and we'll start flooding the goblins down in a second here once that wizard's gone. Okay, goblins are going to come flooding in now. We're using two fingers. Actually, we're going to use three fingers to swarm these goblins in. Two to the inside, one on the outside there, and you can see a ton of goblins rolling in really fast. They're spread out, so they're going to take that gold and elixir almost instantly. Now, they do get half of the storage before they all die, but I bet you guys didn't think they would have made it past those wizards or mortars. And with the Queen Invisible, she's going to take out that expo and destroy this Elixir Collector. Now she's going for whatever gold she can get. And it's going to be a nice little run here, taking a bunch of loot. So pretty solid, 1100 Dark, which is not bad in Gold 1. It's actually pretty solid. Eight trophies for the win. Did not go for the two-star. Could have easily got it, though. And 225,000 gold along with 210,000 Elixir. Now... Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to show one more raid, and I'm going to get out of here. But if you guys want to see more strategy raids, I will definitely do those videos. Just name what you want to see next, because I have a lot of plans to do. But I'm also working on a... I'm not going to say it. I'm working on a surprise, though. So I'm just going to tease you with that. It will be fun, though. It's a new series, and it's going to involve some other YouTubers. So I'm definitely really pumped for it. It's going to involve giveaways. It's going to involve working with my subscribers. So this is all important news, guys. Stay tuned. Keep active, and thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.